a thin line of protection on the outskirts of Calais and a vivid illustration of why this route to the UK is so hard to police. The reinforcements sent by the French government have joined colleagues trying to close the gaps in a huge security perimeter. Hundreds of migrants moving in small groups simply can't be effectively contained as they search for a new way through. A small number make it every day. This picture, taken at Folkestone, captures two men clinging to the roof of a lorry as it left the terminal. Today, the government's Cobra Emergency Committee agreed further measures to bolster the security operation in Calais. More dogs to make sure there's 24-hour cover, uh, more fencing, more resources, more policing if necessary. All the things that can be done will be done to stop people illegally entering our country and to make the situation better for the lorry drivers and the holidaymakers who face potential delays. On this side of the channel, Operation Stack rolled on. There had been some improvement overnight, but drivers still faced a wait of several hours before they could reach the tunnel or the port of Dover. In Maidstone, the Transport Minister, Council officials, police and highways officers met to thrash out possible solutions as the county ended another week with transport links disrupted and businesses losing money. The A20 is blocked, the A2 is blocked, the small roads are blocked, uh, villages are blocked, people can't get to their hospital appointments. There was a lady on who's desperately worried that she won't get to the hospital to have her baby. It's as bad as that. Polish that a little bit more on that side, I think, yeah? Tony O'Donnell has run his bathroom business near Ashford for 25 years. Now he's considering a move to London, which would put 16 jobs at risk. We get two or three customers a day. At the moment, we're getting two or three a week. We may have to open another facility in another location. If this persists and there's no sign of it actually evening out, then we will have to look at alternatives. One issue has dominated the hours of talks at County Hall today. How to move the queues of waiting lorries off the M20 and thus free up routes to and from the coast. We need the trucks to keep moving towards the port because that's the exit. If we can get them out of the county, then we can free up the roads in the county. And it's a question of how we actually manage those flows through the Channel Tunnel and through the port of Dover in the optimum manner. One solution would be to use the giant car parks at Ebbs Fleet Station as a holding area. Freight traffic is expected to ease over the weekend, but even the smallest incident in Calais could tip the balance once again. Robert Hall, BBC News, Kent.